Okay, that is 36 inches wide, and that is 44 inches tall. Now that's a good size board there. Oh well, hi there. It looks like you all joined me again. Here I am building things and constructing things. Welcome to Papa Kagan's Bible Time. I'm glad you joined me. Grab your Bible, let's get around the kitchen table, and uh, let's enjoy some, some great truth from the Bible. Indeed. Well, I, as you can see, I'm still dressing up like a construction worker. Why? Well, because I'm building the most important thing in the world. I am building character. Yes, indeed. Now, you remember what character is, don't you? Character. Character is that uh, inner strength to do what's right. It, even when you're not told to, even when others are not, are, are not looking, even when you're not being checked up on, you are doing right from the inside out. Indeed, it's the heart and the habit to do right character. Well, your parents are trying to help you with this thing of character. They are doing all they can to build it in you. And it feels like they are correcting you all the time. You never can do anything right. Hey, young people, that is perfectly normal. Let me encourage you. Um, your parents are doing their best to build in you this quality called character and and it comes out in many different ways we studied the great and foundational character called honesty and we discussed and preached about the wonderful characteristic called humility then we went on into talking about obedience then we talked about the great characteristic of patience. Remember patience? Waiting without whining. Mm -hmm. And then, last time, we talked about a big word that you probably don't hear very much called perseverance. And that basically means not a quitter. Not a quitter. And remember that famous old saying, quitters never win and winners never quit. Amen? So, we're measuring you up here to see if we can help you uh, get into this thing called character. Now, uh, so far, uh, we've been singing our song called, uh, turn there in Proverbs chapter 20, verse 11. Even a child is known by his doing, whether his work be pure and whether it be Right. So let's sing it. Grandma, can you help me? Yes, sir. All right. Let's see if we can sing this song. Even a child. Proverbs 20, verse 11. Even a child is known by his doings, whether his work be pure and whether it be right. That's right. Even a child is right whether it be right all right good job you all are learning that song that is wonderful well today our character trait that we're learning it's so important is a word that you probably heard quite a bit it's the word kindness kindness well what is kindness. Well, it's treating others with gentleness and consideration. It's really just treating others the way you would want to be treated. Kindness. Yeah, kindness is showing concern for other people's feelings and and it's sometimes it's showing sympathy. Sometimes it's showing respect and honor. Kindness. Sometimes it's 
just showing love and tenderness. Uh, it's really having a heart to care how others are doing and how others are feeling. And so it's called kindness. Let's see now, is there a Bible verse that backs that up? There sure is. You can be turning to Ephesians chapter um, 4 and verse um, 32 there. Hey, and you know what? I think we've learned that in a scripture song, Ephesians 4, 32. Now remember, young people, kindness comes out two ways. It comes out in your words, and it comes out in your actions. Yes, indeed. All right, well, let's sing a new song, all right? Mm -hmm. Ephesians 4, 32, and it is a great song. And, uh, I mean, it's a great verse here, Ephesians 4, 32. Grandma and I will sing it for you, and be ye kind uh, one, to, one you. to another. Mm -hmm. All right? And be ye kind one to another, tenderhearted for time all right even let's see it starts out excuse me and be yeah and be kind one to another tender hearted for giving one another even as god for christ's sake has forgiven you ephesians 4 32 and be kind one to and everything with that song. That's good. Kindness. 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 Well, I'll tell you what we need to do. We need to pray because we've got a Bible story and some great things to see and learn today. Heavenly Father, I ask you now to bless our time together and help us all learn to be kind with our words and kind with our actions. I pray you teach us some great things here today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oh, Pastor. Oh, Pastor. Oh, no. Who is this? Oh, it, it can't be. Yes, it is. It's me. Oh, it's, it's Holly. Yes, and I'm so sad. <laughs> my brothers hurt my feelings. They did? Yeah, they... They pulled my hair and hit me. <laughs> Freddy, come here. Oh, Freddy, he did it. Yeah, he's the bad guy. Come here, Freddy. I need to talk with you, okay? Okay, Pastor. I'm coming. Oh, I'm glad we get to talk about this. You, you pulled my hair. Well, you... You broke my toy. <laughs> well, it's because you told my friends that I was mean. Well, you are mean. She's very mean, Papa Kagan. She, she's not kind at all. I mean, she treats me and Eddie really bad. I do not. I treat you very nicely. No, you're mean. No, it's just because you are S-T-U-B-I-D. <laughs> what did she say? What did she say? She said, well, she spelled the word wrong, but I think I know what she spelled. Yes, he's D-U-M-B. <laughs> What'd she say? What'd she say? If 
if Eddie was here, he knows how to spell and he could tell me what she's saying, but she never says anything nice to us. Oh, sure I do. I say, you're nice when you tell me nice things. Well, you're never nice to us, and so it's a bad time. Oh my goodness, it sounds like both of you need to have a, a lesson on kindness. I'm kind. Everybody knows I'm very kind. They know you're very mean, just like I know you're mean. No, it's not. Yes, you are. Okay, okay, okay. Everybody settle down. Here's what I'm going to have you do. We're going to have a special lesson on how to be kind. Good, I hope he's listening. Well, he is listening, but I hope you're listening too. I am, I guess. Anyway. Yeah, I'd like for you to sit down over here and you sit down over here, Freddie. And I'd like for you guys to listen because this is an important, important lesson. Okay. If she'll listen, I'll listen. If you listen, I'll listen. It sounds like you both are going to listen. Okay. All right. You all get on down there and sit down there. There you go. And let's see what we can do here. Young people, take that Bible and open it up to a very important passage there in Luke chapter 10. Luke chapter 10. I'm going to take all this down and tell you the story about what's the great or the good Samaritan. The good Samaritan. Now you may say, I've heard that before. I don't want to hear it again. Well, you get to hear it again because it's such an important lesson. Jesus told this story. He uh, was confronted by a, a bunch of uh, Pharisees who were trying to catch Jesus and, and trick him. Uh, but he, uh, he knew how to answer them. And he uh, knew what to say. A, a Pharisee said, Tell us what is the greatest law in, uh, in the law. And, uh, and you know what Jesus said? Jesus said, well, you know the law. The law said, uh, what's the law say? And he said, well, it says, love the Lord your God with all your heart and love your neighbor as yourself. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Jesus said, you've spoken true. That's a very good thing. And then there, uh, the Pharisee says, well, who's my neighbor? <laughs> because that verse said, love your neighbor as yourself. Who's my neighbor? He asked that because he felt really bad because they had some neighbors called Samaritans. Now, Samaritans were half-breeds. That means they were half-Jewish and half-Gentile. And the Jews hated them. And so Jesus said, okay, well, I'll tell you a special story and you can tell me who the neighbor is. And so a man, Jesus said, went down from Jerusalem, was heading to Jericho, and he fell among thieves. That means a bunch of robbers grabbed him, beat him up, stole his money, and left him for dead, half dead, the Bible says. And there he was groaning and moaning, hurting so bad. And here comes a priest. Now, a Jewish priest was very religious. Oh, he believed in God. And oh, how, how spiritual he was. And, and, and here he sees a man hurting. And you know what the priest said? He said, oh no, I can't get involved with that. I've got a church meeting to go to. And he walked on the other side and left the man there to die. Mm -hmm. Jesus went on with the story. And he said, and then came a Levite. A Levite came walking by and found the, the man hurting and groaning and moaning. And the Levite said, oh dear, someone needs to help him. I think I'll go and tell someone to come help him. 
and passed by on the other side. But then, Jesus tells the story of a Samaritan. And this Samaritan comes by and he sees the man and he says, Oh, let me help you. And he bends down and he, he pours medicine in his wounds. He bandages up his, his hurts and his owies. And, and he says, all right, come with me. I'm going to take you and take care of you. And he put him on his own donkey. And he took him all the way into town where there was, it's kind of like a hospital. <laughs> it's called the inn. <laughs> and, and the good Samaritan took the man to the inn. And there he, he took care of him. And, and then the next morning when the good Samaritan had to leave, he and the Samaritan said, whatever he needs, I'll take care of it. I'll pay you when I come back. And so Jesus said, which of those three showed kindness to their neighbor? <laughs> and the lawyer said, well, certainly the Samaritan did. And, and boy, that was hard for him to admit because he hated Samaritans. And by the way, it's not kind to hate someone because of what country they came from or what color their skin or how they look. That's wrong. That's not kind. Jesus commands us to be kind. Remember the song we just sang? Be ye kind one to another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you. Well, I'm going to show you something that's very special here. That I think it's special. And I hope you can see it here in just a moment. But I'm going to I'm going to help you understand that uh, what kindness looks like to people. Kindness to a person who's having a bad day, it's, it's, it like turns the light bulb on to them. You say, what can I do as a young person that's kind? Well, just a simple thing is a smile is so kind. It's so kind. And so here's what I've got. I've got some milk in a dish here. And I just put some uh, uh, black pepper in the dish. Now, the black pepper represents the dark days and the sadness that people are going through and the difficulties they're having. And when we come along and we show some kindness, maybe it's some kindness of just greeting someone and saying, Hi, how are you? And uh, Or maybe it's something just as simple as including someone in your activities or maybe it's just holding the door for someone you don't even know maybe it's maybe it's offering help maybe even helping your brother or your sister indeed say can i help you with your chores today sis boy that'll solve a lot of arguments right there that's real nice i'm telling you that's kindness Kindness means you'll share your toys with wisdom and knowing, um, and, and maybe even share your food uh, with folks, uh, or maybe even uh, give something to someone. That's always kind, and that's always kind to do. You know what? Kindness is even letting someone else go first. Wow, that is kind. And, uh, Kindness includes forgiving one another and being uh, tender-hearted. And you know what? I guess for some boys and some girls, kindness would be the opposite of being a bully. Yeah. Yeah. It's never kind to be a bully. But kindness is speaking words of encouragement. Uh, it's saying, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, yes, sir, no, sir. Oh, and it's being quiet when adults are talking to each other. You don't just run in and start blabbing while two adults are talking to each other. 
Well, kindness is an amazing thing. Let's see what happens when kindness enters in here. Let's just add a little kindness to our day and see what happens. Look at that. It causes all the darkness and difficulties to just go away. You know what? I think we left... Uh, a little too long. A little too long. But whatever be the case. <laughs> it did go away. A little bit. It made it, it better. It causes some things just to be better. Yeah. And so I'm so thankful that people have been kind to me. But you know what? This coming weekend is Mother's Day. And in my opinion, every day is Mother's Day. And you know what? I don't think there's anybody in the whole world who is more kind than a mother. Your mother. Now, some people don't have kind mothers, but most of you who are watching this video, uh, you've got a very kind mother. She helps you when you're sick. She, she uh, whenever you've fallen down and got an owie, she, she fixes you up. She, uh, she fixes your food. And she cleans your house. I mean, she cleans your clothes and your laundry. And, and she, she works with you when you've got a school problem or a, some kind of a other problem. Uh, be extra kind to Mother this weekend. Ask her if there's something kind you could do for her. She would like that a lot. And maybe that's just a good old-fashioned hug. And a kiss right on the cheek for mom. You could color a picture or something like that too. But anyway, tell her you love her. And that's tremendous. You say, well, preacher, or uh, Papa Kagan, I don't, I can't do that. I, it's just not in me to be kind like that. Well, I know it's not in you. It's not in me either. But it is in Jesus. And you know what? When I invited Jesus to come into my life to be my Savior, He showed me such kindness. That helps me to want to give others kindness. And you know what? Some of you have never truly invited Jesus to come into your life to be your Savior and to change you into His likeness. You know, it'd be a good thing to ask Him to come into your life and to save you. If you've never asked him, you need to do that. And then if you have asked him to save you, you know what you need to do? You need to ask him to help you to be kind. Because that pleases him. And that glorifies him. That honors him. Over there in 2 Peter chapter 1 and verses 5 through 8, it says, Add to your faith. That means build upon this thing of salvation that you've got. Add to your faith virtue. That word virtue means moral excellence or character. Add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge, and to knowledge patience, and to patience and it lists all these things, and the last two things are brotherly kindness and compassion. God wants us to be kind one to another. So, your project for the day is show someone kindness. Amen. Well, let's sing our, our song again and we will... Uh, you know, Papa? Tell me what. I hear somebody mowing our grass outside. I do too. I think they're doing a kind thing because we did not ask them to. We didn't. That was a kind family who, who uh, did that and who's doing that. That is amazing. That is amazing. Uh, Grandma, huh. I wonder if you could just pour this out and then try it, again. try it again. Because I know the kiddos would like to see it. It really is a neat uh, uh, object lesson. And uh, we're going to sing that Proverbs 20, verse 11. Even the child is known by his doing. His work be pure and whether it be right. That's right. Even the child.
And then that other verse was uh, Ephesians chapter uh, 432. 432. And, um, and it says, um, uh, and be ye kind one to another. Yeah. And oh, be I'm going to put you down here. And, and be ye kind. Okay. And be ye kind. <laughs> oh boy, let's let's wait on that one, all right? Oh. Grandma, I tell you what, let's just wait on that one. And there you go, put some of that pepper in there. Let's uh, let this be. Uh, somebody's having a rough day. Somebody's just not feeling good, and it's just everything just seems to be going wrong. Things are breaking. Can we put it up here while you're doing that, yeah. Grandma. Things just are, do a couple more there around the side. Things there. are breaking and. Oh, and nobody else has been nice to them, and they're, uh, and they're having a hard time. Now, and you come by, and you just offer a smile, and you offer a kind word of encouragement, and here you come along, and whoop, well, there look you at go. that. You brighten their day. Brightens their day. Lifts their load. Lifts their load and encourages them. And that's what Jesus is like. That is good. All right. Let's see, sing Ephesians 4.32. Okay. And be ye kind one, one to another, another tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, hath forgiven you. Ephesians 4, 32. And be ye kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, hath forgiven you. Ephesians 4, 32. Good. Amen. You all have a blessed day.